Many Nigerians in the past depended on post office, which were critical public facilities relied upon for communication, as well as sending passes to people in faraway locations. However, with advancements in communication technology and competition for more efficiently and managed courier outfits, the future of public postal establishments such as NIPOS appear to be hanging on a thread. Some citizens share their thoughts on the matter. I think I heard about NIPOS, but it has been long. NIPOS is still more well established, more broad, well covered nationwide, and even I uh, know internationally. When we other things are wrong, it comes to them. So. Postal establishments are ranked worldwide on four main components which include reliability, reach, relevance and resilience. While explaining the performance of NIPOS in line with these acceptable global standards, the respondents say the organization must be repositioned and reformed to be able to withstand competition. I send message through my phone, easy to send. Once you send it, the person receives it immediately. Why if I post? I have to transfer myself down to the post office, start feeling. It takes weeks, sometimes months to get to the person. Very slow, extremely slow. But we are still managing them because they appear to be the cheapest available. So now there is phone. You can communicate with anybody you want to. Nipos in 2018, according to the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics, generated 7 billion naira while handling a total of over 20 million mails. If properly managed, the Nigerian Postal Services can be a significant revenue earner for the country. Rotimi Robinson, AIT News, Yenegua.